Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your girl Silent Chick and I'm coming to you guys with a highly requested video. Um, quite a few guys um, have been requesting for me to do a video on my skin regimen. Okay, so um, first of all, as you guys can see, I have absolutely no makeup on right now. Okay, so I don't have any makeup on. But I'm going to give you a little bit of history on my skin. Um, so I do suffer from a condition called eczema, a skin condition called eczema. Um, for those of you guys who don't know what eczema is, it's a skin condition. Um, the type of eczema that I suffer from is called atopic eczema. And um, I usually get my breakouts in the summertime. So in extreme hot weather, or I should say not necessarily summertime, but in extreme hot weather. Um, so for example, there's those summer days, those peak summer days that are extremely hot, I usually get my breakouts. And um, I usually get my breakouts right in my creases, like right in this little area right here, and sometimes right here, but mainly here. Um, prior to me becoming pregnant with my son, um, my eczema was really severe, extremely bad. Okay, guys, I never thought that my skin would clear up the way it has cleared up. Um, it was so bad. I've done everything. I went to doctors, well, dermatologists. Um, they've given, given me creams, a whole bunch of creams to use. I mean, the creams helped with the itching, um, but as far as clearing it up, it wouldn't do anything. It would just um, help with the itching. So for those of you guys who have eczema or know what eczema is, you guys know it itches a lot, okay? And you're not supposed to itch your skin, and I was doing that. I'd be digging my skin, like literally just scratching it. Okay, I had it on my stomach, and I had it on my legs. So I'll show you. I had it here on my stomach, okay? And I also had it right here on my leg um if you guys know with itching your skin um it's gonna get really irritated your skin's gonna start to peel um get really sore my skin was doing all of that but it was also turning really 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 dark it was like turning black um for over a year okay guys i could not wear any type of shorts skirts dresses anything like that because i had like a patch of a rash that was like black on my skin and it was very noticeable so I wouldn't wear skirts dresses shorts nothing like that um, or if I did I would have to wear um, stockings or really really long boots um, when I had when I was pregnant you know your hormone levels change um, and luckily for me with having eczema that particular type of eczema your skin's either going to clear up completely or it's going to get worse luckily mine's cleared up completely so it was like having brand new skin like it cleared up 110 percent as you can see so i was fortunate when it, with that um i'm also allergic to nickel nickel so pretty much what I'm trying to say guys is that I have extremely sensitive skin. I have to be extremely careful of the products that I put on my skin and what I use on my skin. With that being said, it has taken me years, okay, years to figure out what works for my type of skin, the type of skin that I have. Um, you're not getting this, okay? Sorry guys. He wants his Gerber foods. Here, I'll get here. So, um... Yeah, it's taken me quite some time to figure it out because um, I've tried a lot of products. It's either it either burns my skin, so I've been using it, and then my skin starts to peel. I start to get burn marks on my face, or or my skin, or my body, or um, I just get like breakouts. So um, I've been using the products I'm going to show you. I've been using them for quite some time. Um, the soap that I've been using, I've been using it for over two years, and everything else I've been using for a good amount of time. Like we're talking years, like we're talking like maybe over three years or so. Okay, um, I've been using on my face the Ellie, and I use four products on my face. Okay, so I've been using the Ellie Organics Body Wash, and this is the original black soap. 
And if you're looking at it, it's in a um, liquid formula. So it's black soap. It's just liquid black soap, okay? And this stuff, oh, this is my baby. This stuff right here is amazing. The consistency of this is like silk, okay? You put this on your skin and it's just like, oh, it's so, uh, what's the word I want to use? It's, it's like silk. It's, it's like silk. It just, it feels really good. After having it on, your skin feels so refreshed. I don't know if you guys get that feeling, but it just, it makes your skin feel really refreshed, okay? Um, what I do in the morning time, I use this morning and night, what I'll do is before I put any type of products on my face or I wash my face, I always make sure to wash my hands um, because as you guys know, your hands have bacteria and germs, so I always wash my hands before I put anything on my face, okay? Um, once my hands are cleansed and washed and clean, I should say, I go ahead and I take my black soap and I'll show you how much I pour in. Just a tad, just a drop. About that much, okay? That much. And this goes a long way. I rub it in my hands, and let me wipe it off my hands right now. I rub it in my hands, and then rub it on my face, making sure to lather it in my skin really well, okay? I leave it on my face for about 30 seconds, and then I wash it off. Once I'm done using this, I go ahead and I use my moisturizer, which is the Neutrogena Daily Moisturizer, and um, it's oil-free. This one is the SP, um, SP15, SPF, SPF15, and um, I usually don't use this one. I usually use the one um, for combination skin, but in the summertime, I was using um, this one a lot, and I still have quite a bit, so I use this hand-in-hand and it works wonders it will last you a really long time okay I paid 11 and 9 12 bucks for this and honestly this is lasting me for like three months or more same thing with this I've had this from in the summer June guys okay the beginning of June and I still have quite a bit it's like right here you only need a little bit so after I'm done washing my face with this the tab about that much of my moisturizer Rub it on my hands, rub it on my skin, on my neck, and I put this moisturizer on before I put any type of makeup, before I go to my bed, and all that stuff. So, again, I use these two hand in hand. Um, when I don't use my um, Ellie Black Soap, I'll use my Crusader soap, and it's called Crusader. I say Crusader, but it's actually pronounced Crusader, and it's Crusader Medical Safety Soap, or Safety Medical Soap, one of the two. I don't have it with me now because it's finished, but I'm definitely going to have a link at the bottom of the screen in the information bar below to show you all the products, where I got them, or not where I got them, but um, to show you where it is, but I will have a link to where you could purchase um the black soap if interested okay guys um so i'll use that and i love the crusader soap because it's good for eczema blemishes acne irritation rashes any type of skin conditions and it's really good i love it i love it for my face and my body um i love it so even before i started using the black soap I was using Crusader, okay? I've been using Crusader for years, like maybe five, six years. Like, um, I've tried black soap already. The black soap I tried is, you know, the, the um, cubes? And um, the one that I used, it was too strong for my skin, believe it or not. Even though they say it's an all-natural product, um, I don't know if I was using it wrong, but my skin started to peel. It started to break out, and um, even the shea butter, or the one shea butter that I was using, I don't know, it was, it just, it wasn't working for me, so I stopped using shea butter as a moisturizer on my face, um, for that reason, you have to know what works for you, and for that reason, I stopped using it, so um, pretty much I use those three things like I showed you, so the Ellie's Black Soap, the Neutrogena Moisturizer, and this is a 
This pack is from Ghana, okay? Um, the last thing that I use is my face, facial steamer. And this is from Revlon. I don't know if you guys can see. So this is from Revlon. And you can pick, you should be able to pick this up at any um, store, like drugstore or whatever you want to call it. So Rite Aid, any place that sells um, Revlon products. I purchased mine at Walmart. So you should be able to get this at Walmart. Okay. Um, it's just a um, facial steamer. And what I do, oops, oh, sorry guys. I like fell. What I do it kind of looks like the Crusoe rollers if you guys see my video on the Crusoe rollers same type of format whatever right so I put my water in here so you don't have to boil your water but I like to boil mine so I put water in a kettle and I boil it and then I pour a little bit of water in here and um you can steam your face you just put this on here lock it okay so you put it on you lock it and then steam comes up through here, you put your face in like this, like so, and you steam your face. And I usually steam my face for between 10 and 20 minutes, depending um, on how I feel. But I'm going to give you guys a really cool trick to tell you what I do. So after I boil my water and I put it in here, you do not have to boil your water, okay? But after I put my water in here, what I do is I take time. Yes, guys, time, cooking time, time that you use to season. I take a little bit of thyme leaves, our thyme cloves, and I put them in here, and um, I put it like that, and then I steam my face. And what that does is opens up my pores, and it steams my face, and gets all the dirt that's been in my face that's been building up out. Okay? And also, what I do is what I want to do a uh, exfoliator to my face. I um, use cornmeal. Yes, cornmeal, and I put just a half cup of cornmeal, okay, a half cup, and I put a um, half cup of milk, and I mix it up, and I use that as a facial scrub. Seems kind of weird, kind of, not really, um, but that's what I use. That's my inexpensive way of doing it. It works great, just like anything else that you might buy, that um, apricot scrub, okay? So you could use that also. And I've been using it for years, okay? That's what my mom used. And my mom's skin is gorgeous, okay? And that's what I grew up using. Um, my sisters back home in Jamaica, that's what they use. So that's pretty much all I use on my skin. But when you do use this, even if you don't buy this, okay? You, could, you still have to use this. You could use a bowl, anything that's deep boil water put it in there but if you are going to use a bowl or something what i would recommend that you do is use um use the bowl push your water in and use a very thin cloth so very thin cloth right and just put it over just put it over your bowl and put your face in and it's still going to heat heat up right because you won't have you won't have the steam rest, but you'll still be able to do that. Or you could do it with a um a really um hot cloth. So you don't have to get this, but that's how I steam my face. Do not forget the time. Time works wonders, okay? So that's all I use. Um I hope this is helpful. I will definitely have all the link the information, sorry, below of um where you can either purchase the the um Ellie's original black soap organic body wash and it, you can use this on your body because it is a body wash um, but I use it on my face um, also which you can do what I do to um, moisturize is when I'm taking a bath or a shower what I do is I'll use some type of oil okay um, I'll use baby oil in my bath water or some type of oil that's very moisturizing to skin and what I use to um, lotion my skin is coconut oil a hundred percent coconut oil that's what I use on my skin guys I don't use anything on my skin but coconut oil so I hope that was helpful um, please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and um, talk to you guys soon bye guys